Combustion reactions can be difficult to balance, but by the end of this video, you'll be able to balance even the toughest, like C100H202. So let's start with butane. The key here, balance the oxygen atoms last. I've counted up all of the atoms on each side of the equation, and you can see on the product side, I've added the two oxygens in the carbon dioxide and the one in the H2O, giving me three oxygens on the product side. That's important. People often forget that step. So let's balance the carbons and the hydrogens, leaving the oxygens to last. I'll put a four in front of the carbon dioxide. So four times one, that gives me four carbons. For the hydrogen, I need 10. So I'll put five here, five times two. That gives me 10 hydrogens. And now I need to recalculate the number of oxygens. So I have four times two, that gives me eight oxygens in the carbon dioxide, plus five times the one, five. I have 13 total oxygens on the product side. So everything's balanced except the oxygens. Well, the way to fix that is to multiply two times 13 over two, and that'll give me 13 and balance the oxygens. And I'll put my 13 over two up here. And with that, this equation is balanced. You may want to multiply all of the coefficients above in the equation by two so that you'll have whole numbers. So two here, two times 13 over two, that's just 13. Two times four gives you eight, and two times the five gives you 10. So the keys are, make sure you count all of the oxygens on the product side, the carbon dioxide and the H2O. Then leave the oxygens to last to balance. So deal with the carbons and hydrogens first. Use that fraction to fix the oxygens. And then if you want whole numbers, multiply all of the coefficients in the equation by two. So pause and try to balance this combustion reaction. You should end up with something that looks like this. And then if we wanted to have whole numbers in our coefficients, we could multiply the entire equation by two. And that would give you coefficients of 2, 25, 16, and 18. Let's try one more, a little bit more challenging, C100, H202. So pause and give this one a try. Let's balance this. We need 100 carbons over here. So 100 times the 1, that'll give me 100 carbons. For my hydrogens, I need 202. So let's put 101 in front here because two times 101 equals 202. And now we need to recalculate our oxygens. I have 100 times two, that's 200, plus 101 times the one, that is 101. So I have 301 oxygens to deal with. We know how to fix that. We just multiply this by 301 over two, and the twos cancel out and we have 301. So we'll put our 301 over two here, and now this equation's balanced. If we want whole number coefficients, we can multiply the top of the equation by two. Again, the key to balancing combustion reactions, make sure you count the oxygens on both sides of the equations. Don't forget about the water. You then need to make sure that you do the carbons and hydrogens first, leaving the oxygens to last use the fraction we discussed, and then finally, if you want whole numbers, multiply the whole equation by two. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.